Greetings, tankers! My name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the latest and greatest installment of the show which promotes skill, resourcefulness, and on very, very rare occasions, premium ammo usage. It's like 1 in 20, I swear. Still, don't forget to hit that red button below as every new subscriber is one less APCR shell our hero can use. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Look at that, you lot did it! 45 new subscribers during the intro means Hayaptling, in their Super Chaffee, is only limited to 20 APCR shells! And we'll have to resort to passive spotting instead of annihilating 15 enemy tanks without breaking a sweat. Alright, that's enough of those jokes. We don't want an already rowdy comment section getting any rowdier. Although this passive spotting assignment isn't exactly setting the world alight. with that YOLO from the Skoda, it's just about over. Oh, what's this? The enemies left this part of the map unguarded? And an AFK tank, free damage! Well, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Might as well take advantage of this and pay a visit to the enemy arty collective. And it's just... Ah, four enemy tanks in the friendly cap circle. Great. However, none of these tanks appear to have the view range to spot Hyopling. Hey, not bad! Uh oh, this SU-100 doesn't seem to be the one to wait around. Whoa, swing and a miss! Yeah, you could say that was a slight misplay by the SU. Unfortunately, these 19 AP shells are not going to cut it against the 88. Thanks, subs. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Or do we? These AP shells are barely punching through the 80s side armor. Yes, finally! Whoa, what an ordeal that was! The AT has refused to go down, almost running Hayapling out of shells. But in the end, it's our Super Chaffee who is victorious. Scoring a Kolobanos medal, third gun mark, 3,542 damage, eight kills and 1,965 base experience in a great comeback. One that we're happy to award with 2,000 gold and our style. Well done. Swiftly moving on to an AMBT who obviously forgot to update their map ban list. So Balukan75 will have to deal with the infamous stalemate and resist the urge to peek outside the usual cover. A skill which this Rudy lacked. Maybe we get a bit better luck? Oh no. Whoa, so much about the patience I praised. So now that we've lost half of our HP for just 1600 damage, 
it might not be a terrible idea to play a bit safer from now on. Although I've not been overly keen on Baluchan 75's plays this game, this AMX 1357 marks the fifth kill for our hero. Hey, let's make that a top gun, why not? However, from now on, dear comment section, I'd like you to count every shell Baluchan 75 fires until the end of the game. Yep, four shells, four kills, and one pool's medal. Well, I'll be damned. Six shells and six kills, bringing our total to an incredible 12. And with just one more enemy tank remaining, Of course, Baluchan 75 makes it count. Wow, what an awesome ending to this game. Have to say the opening part was a little bit underwhelming, but seven kills and seven shots at the very end? Well, that makes it all worth it. Baluchan 75 claims the pool's medal with 13 kills in total, 4,415 damage dealt, and 1,663 base experience. A worthy winner of 2,500 gold, and of course, our best replay style. Congratulations. For the finale, we're once again turning towards an American light tank. With another valiant passive spotting attempt by Augustus Wright in the T-71 CMCD. Wow, it's actually working for once. Now, if anyone would be kind enough to actually shoot at what Augustus is spotting. That's how you can tell it's time to move on. At least Augustus walked away with a kill after all of that effort. Or two. Wow, now this is proper aggressive. But hey, that worked out way better than I was expecting. Now, if only the same could be said about the friendly team. So, better get that damage in quick before all these purple baddies turn their attention towards Augustus. Well, that's hardly going to even the odds. Whoa, this capture attempt is getting too close for comfort. Phew, that works. Hey, what the heck is this attempt by the Crusader SP? Well, that could only be classified as a resounding fail. Ah, really? Oh, there's our problem, a near-full HP Tiger. A tank which Augustus stands no chance to take head on. Huh, that Tiger must have not leveled their awareness stat. Away with you, annoying light tank. Oh! Oh. I swear, comment section, if I see one single mention of paid actors, all of you are getting bad RNG rolls for a week.
Oh, stop it, Augustus. It's already dead. And finally, that's a GG. Well, what do I say about this one? We have indeed double-checked, and no, this tiger was not a paid actor. Sometimes RNG just giveth. Especially if your name is Augustus Wright, who played exceptionally well to be in this position in the first place. Carrying the green team with 5,572 damage, 11 kills and 2,207 base experience, clutching in the end the all-important Fadin's medal. And thus this replay gets our stamp of approval as the best of the week, awarding Augustus with 3,000 gold and our sexy style. Congratulations! And with that controversial ending, we have reached the ending of our own video. Which brings me to a question. How far did you lot go in order to secure a Fadin's medal? Or any medal in general? Share your stories with us, I can't wait to read through them. But until then, keep sending your replays as ever. Most of you know the drill, but for those who don't, the instructional video will be in the description. And finally, I'm Adam Snugrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!